Hi, I'm Alan Bresnik from Light Reading. I'm in Philadelphia at SCTE Cable Tech Expo. We're at the Calyx booth, and I'm talking to Doug Blue. Hey, Doug. Hi. Doug, tell us a little bit about Calyx. Hi. Calyx was formed in 1999. Uh, we're headquartered in Petaluma, California, mm -hmm. and have offices throughout the U.S. as well as the world. We're a pioneer in uh, the software-defined access and have been innovating uh, solutions for the access uh, network for quite some time. Um, a little known fact is that Calyx has uh, been deploying GPON with cable operators for nearly as long as they've been deploying DOCSIS 3.0 modems. Wow, who knew? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, most of the uh, solutions were initially, or initial deployments, were based upon small to medium business services. However, the hyper-competitive environment that operators are finding themselves in right now are having them look for ways to transition their networks and evolve from DOCSIS and an HFC infrastructure to a more fiber-based solution. The need for symmetrical gigabit services is really at the forefront of their mind. So what solutions does Calyx offer cable operators to make the transition from their HFC networks to fiber to the home? Yesterday at the Cable Tech Expo, uh, we announced our newest solution, the E32 that's behind us here. It How is, timely. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so the E32 is an uh, intelligent PON node system based upon our AXOS platform. Now the E32 is revolutionary. And the reason why it's revolutionary and intelligent is we're taking the, the access and the service edge functions and packing it into a distributed fiber architecture. Now, what that affords operators to do is to extend the reach with long range optics, the uh, distance of a, or the capabilities of a data center. So reaching from typical a 20 kilometer reach out to 140 kilometers. So that affords an operator the ability to take hubs, central offices, and other facilities that really are a boat anchor to OpEx right. and shutter them and close them down. So we're really seeing this as a transformational type of a solution. Uh, and nobody else offers this kind of thing? No, no one else. How does Calyx see the cable industry's access network evolving over the next few years? If you recall, uh, the Leading Lights Award in 2016 right. was awarded for an S best SDN product, was awarded to Calyx for our AXOS platform. Mm -hmm. Now, the AXOS platform, coupled with the E32, really allows us to move in the direction of virtualized networks as well as SDN. Now, the modular nature of AXOS allows us to take functions and move them into the cloud which really is important in a multi-vendor, multi-technology type of environment. Also, having the intelligence of the hub, uh, the routing functions, the OLT, and coupled with AXOS, allows us in a always-on type of environment to put push new services and new applications in a real time down to uh, the E32. Will Calyx play a role in the whole distributed access architecture movement? I believe so. As a matter of fact, this is a perfect solution for a disaggregated type of a solution. Pushing fiber deeper into the network, right. but then being able to pull functions off of network and evolve uh, in the future. It seems to be one of the themes of this show. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, with that introduction, Doug, tell us more about the E32. I'd love to. Okay. So the E32 is a modular solution. Um, we've built it from the ground up that allows us to start with GPON with a module, two modules, and grow it to XGS and GPON2 or 10 gigabit EPON. In addition to that, we have four 10 gig uplinks and a modularity across the entire solution. So we have multiple powering options where we can do 60, 90 volt AC, we can do negative 48 volt DC, or bring pretty much any power that you have for any unique environment. Now this is completely hardened, so it can go up in the air, up on a, a pole, or in a doghouse, wherever you need it. So can you go to the moon too? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Doug, thanks for your time. Thank you so much. Sure. Alan.